Hello everyone, welcome to the fourth iOS tutorial. In this tutorial I'll show you how Objective-C language works and we'll introduce .h and .m files which are the most common files in Objective-C. Also I'll show you how to define instance variables, instance methods and something called properties. So let's move on. Okay, in previous tutorial I showed you the different components of Xcode and as I mentioned on that tutorial, on the left hand side of uh, Xcode there are some default files and one of these files is viewcontroller.h. Let's investigate more about that .h file and what's going on inside of it. Just click on this file and you'll see these line of codes and you can see these are the commented code and it just showed the version and copyright and when it created and these stuff and this import this is how you import the libraries you import the classes to the uh, class to this class and uh, you just put in pound and then import and the name of the uh, library or class and I'll talk about it later on and then we put at sign interface and the class name and also the uh, super class uh, that we want to create and uh, at the end we put end so this is that h file it is so simple and the difference between this dot h file and dot m file is that uh, if you want to define a public variable or public a method you should put it inside of this file but if you want to define a private variable or private method you have to put it inside of .m file okay suppose we want to define an instance variable inside of .h file it's so simple you just come here and open a curly brace hit enter and it add the end curly brace here and I can define all of my instance variables inside of this curly brace for example I just want to define an integer uh, the integer variable which is the type of the variable and uh, name it like my variable name and that's all I defined the instance variable in that h file so it is exactly the same like uh, we want to define in .m file and I will later on show you but right now if we want to define an instance method it is again it's really easy you can just say hyphen and then open parenthesis because this method is not returning anything so I would say void and then close curly break close parenthesis and then my my method name so I would say my method name and then semicolon so I just define a, a method inside of that edge file that all of my classes can see this method right now so this is public okay let's do the same thing in .m file you just come here and click on viewcontroller.m and you can see these codes. In order to make you feel comfortable, I just delete some of these code and we'll later on talk about this code. But to make it simple, we'll see in .m file we have to see something like this. It has also import and in import we have viewcontroller.h which was the one that we just modified and the interface and the class name this view controller is the class name and then uh, we have end we can define our instance uh, method instance variables inside of this inf interface and end but we have to again put the curly brace and in implementation file we have uh, we have to do uh, define all of our methods and their implementation and what is inside of that method for example when we define this dot edge method and uh, we have to go to the dot m file and implement this method 
this is that's why it gives us a warning and we said it says okay method definition for my method name not found so it's waiting for your to create a method with the name of my method name in that m file so let's just talk about the instance mm, variables here and how to create it it's so simple you can just open and close curly brace and define your uh, instance um, variables right now I want to say again integer and this time uh, maybe hooks tag variable okay this is the instance variable and in order to implement my method I can easily come here and copy the method name here if it allow me to copy and then come to that m5 and between these two implementation and end I have to implement my method and the way that we implement is just write in method name and open curly brace close curly brace and then we can say okay implementation whatever code that we want to in put inside of this method we just have to put it here I just comment here and we can later on implement whatever we need so we just implementation fun okay yeah this is so simple I just created an instance variable and instance method in both .h and .m file. It is that easy. Let's move on. Okay, I made the font bigger than you can easily see the screen. And by the way, if you think it'll allow you think that I'm talking Chinese, it's completely normal. It's I had the same feeling while I was watching the tutorials for the first time. So don't worry about it uh, by the time by watching the tutorial again and again it will make sense just do whatever I did and you will feel comfortable later on so uh, let's talk about the properties uh, I want to get rid of the instance method and instance variable that I defined and this is .m file let's do it for .h file as well uh, had a good time yes and delete this and also delete the method and now I want to define a property what is a property? property is uh, the best way for defining uh, the instance variable instead of instance variable you should define a property because it's created it's built for this and it's really optimized for this reason and uh, you can easily define a setters and getters for properties how we define a property it is easy property at sign property and inside of the parentheses you say non-atomic non-atomic don't worry about these two words that I uh, write in this uh, parentheses just use it I will tell you later on what are these I don't want to make it complicated and then uh, after this we define a type of this variable here in objective C string type is NS string NS stands for next step and string as we have in other languages and after a star we put star and then after a star the name of the property it would say my string and semicolon. So I define my property. So again, to define a property, at sign property, open parentheses, non atomic, comma, strong, and, and a string, and your string uh, name. And then I uh, have to implement it uh, in dot m file. And as you can see, inside of the implementation you can easily say okay at sign is in order to implement it we have to use synthesize word you say at sign synthesize and when I started writing it will recognize my variable or my property name 
I would say my string equals underscore and then my screen my string so by this line of code I implement my property we could do something like this implement it but this is a best practice to you to equal it by underscore and the name of your property you can google why we do this but in this tutorial I'm not going to talk about it but uh, it's the best practice to use it and that's it we define a property in this course